Finally, I had just finished my working day. But why? Did my husband call me just now? What did he really have to say to me? Well, I'll go see him in his office. Here I am, darling. What do you have to tell me? I would like us to talk a bit about our daughter's birthday. Oh, I completely forgot about it. Next Saturday she will be 17. And I would like you to organize a mega birthday for her. I want to make her very happy because she is a very wise and hardworking girl. She is always among the best students in her class. I am so proud of our daughter. I too am so proud of this darling. Okay, buy her anything she asks for. I would like her to be the happiest on this day. Okay, boss at your command. It's perfect. Later on, I would go make a list at home of everything she would like us to buy. Perfect, my wife. So my girlfriend, I would like to know if your mother will pick you up at the exit as usual. No, today I'm going home on foot. That's good news, so I'd like to ask you something. Go throw it away. Wait to get out. I'm listening to you now my girlfriend. I would like to ask you a favor. What is this service? I would like you to lend me some of your clothes, because I was invited to a party with my elder sister and I don't really know what to wear. If you want, you can come home at the same time to pick up the clothes you want. Great, you're like a sister to me, and so am I. Aren't your parents home? No, I did not find their car in the garage. Wait for me here, I'll go get you some clothes. Okay this girl is very lucky to have been born into a wealthy family. I envy her a lot. I think her mom is back from work. Hello mom. Are you alright? Yes mom. So where is she your girlfriend? She is in her room. So my daughter, what are you doing? Mom, you know. My girlfriend would like me to lend her my clothes because she has a party with her sister and she does not know what to wear. Instead of lending your clothes, I recommend that you give it away because your father and I decided to buy you everything you want for your birthday. Wow. It's great. I am very happy. Well, I came to make a list of everything you would like us to buy. We're going to give your girlfriend the clothes and then we'll take care of this famous list. Okay, mom. What had I just heard? With everything she already has, her parents still want to give it away. Gifts for her birthday? And she'll still have a lot more things than me. No, I would never allow it. I'm just waiting to get her clothes back so I can go and work on them mystically. I wanted to thank you for the clothes you just gave me. Nothing, girlfriends, we're together. Yes, we are together. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. I feel a rage in me towards my girlfriend. Well, I would say tell my elder sister everything. As I said big sister, these are the clothes she gave me. This girl is very proud and haughty. How rich her parents are. She thinks she's above everyone else. I just asked her to lend me some of her clothes and she gave them to me thinking that I had no clothes. She really paid me. We're going to fix her case. She doesn't know who she's dealing with yet. She has been looking for us and she is going to find us. That's it sir. I want you to teach this little girl a lesson for me because she also disrespected my little sister. Don't worry my client. Thanks to her own clothes that you just gave me, I will make sure that she becomes rebellious to her parents. She will start by stealing money from her parents and giving it to the men. And in the end, it is a product of sexually transmitted diseases. And her life will be ruined forever. Okay, it works. Do everything is okay. Yes. So my daughter, are you happy for your birthday? Yes mom, I am very happy. Thanks a lot to you and dad. My daughter you deserve more than that because you are my pride. Thanks mom. I will do everything to make sure that you and dad are always proud of me. Or my princess. I will always be there for you. Well, 
I've already set everything up. Soon, this little one will start living her debauchery life, and she will cause misery to her parents. Ha 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 good. I am ready my parents from Palms. Already, I could go clubbing calmly with my friends. The show was great. You liked it? Of course. My princess, I wanted to thank you for the money you had just given me. Of nothing. You deserve more than that. You really are adorable. Thanks. If next time you could still give me a lot more, that would make me very happy. Don't worry, I'll do everything I can to give you everything you want. Thanks, my angel. Are we going to go to the hotel then? Alright, take me where you want. You know what? I would like to spend a week of vacation with you. How will that be done? Have you thought about your parents' reaction? My parents have already made their lives. It is my turn to enjoy my life well. I'm just going to find an excuse to leave the house. Okay. But where did this girl come by? I can't find the money my husband gave me to keep. I hope it wasn't her who took them. How am I going to tell my husband that I can't find the money he gave me? I'm going to go home. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. I have to do it gently so as not to wake my parents up. I slept well. However, I still have headaches and stomach aches. I really don't know what's going on with me. My mom is in the kitchen. I'll go see her. Hello mom. Good morning. Where were you last night? Mom. I went to my girlfriend's house. She had such a stomach ache. And since she was all alone at home, she told me to come. Are you sure about what you said to me? Yes, mom. You know very well that I am very docile and I can never lie everything. Yes, I know that you are an exemplary child. Excuse me if I'm bothering you with my questions and your girlfriend is better. Yes, mom. Besides, I will go see her during the day. Yes, you can go. Thanks, mom. Hi, my friend. What's been happening to me for over three months? I can't control myself anymore. All I'm doing is changing men. I started by stealing my parents' money to give to men and all I'm doing is lying to my parents. I know that what is happening to me is not normal at all. In addition, I have the impression that I have caught a sexually transmitted disease. Because most of the time that I went with men, I didn't protect myself. I recommend that you go see a doctor. Okay, I'll do as you told me. Thank you so much for coming to visit me. Of nothing. You are like my sister. So it's normal for me to come and visit you. So did you tell your mom the whole truth? No until today, I haven't had the courage to talk to my mom about everything I've done in the past. Give me a few minutes, I'm coming. Darling, I'm sorry because I'm going to tell your mom everything you've been able to do in the past. As I told you, that's all that your dearest daughter did in the past. Are you sure what you're telling me? I am 100% sure. You can go ask your daughter. Alright, I'm leaving. Thanks for telling me the whole truth. Of nothing. That's all your girlfriend said to me. Please tell me she was lying. I'm sorry mom. However, that is the truth. But why did you hide the truth from me? Mom, I was afraid of how you would react. Forgive me because I don't know what prompted me to develop this life of debauchery. Well, I can't wait to see my sister again. Oh I forgot, five days ago, I had a dream and in that dream, her daughter had been enchanted by her best friend and her behavior had radically changed towards her parents. I also saw that the girl was hospitalized because she had caught an illness. I really don't know if I told my sister the dream. She would believe me because I always told her to give her life to the Lord Jesus Christ. But she never wanted to. However, I did to the church what I saw in my dream so that she would get up in prayer for her daughter. Hi, big sister. Hi, little brother. What brings me to my house? Five days ago, I did a survey on your daughter. I came to tell you so that you could get up in prayer. Alright, 
Let's get in your car and talk about it for a bit. That's the dream I had about your daughter. Big sister, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Agnes is currently in the hospital. What? I think your god revealed what was going on with my daughter. My daughter only has one best friend. In fact, she even came to see her at the hospital today. That's her best friend. Please keep the car so I can go see. Mom, what are you doing here? What did you do to my daughter? What are you talking to me about? Answer me right away. I'm asking you again. What did you do to my daughter? It's not me, it's my sister. In fact, I gave my big sister one of the clothes your daughter gave me. And my big sister brought him to a marabou to bewitch your daughter. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? It's because I was jealous of your daughter. I would like to be in her place and have all the comforts she has. It is unbelievable. So it is you who are at the root of everything that happens to my daughter. So yes, I am very sorry for what happened to her. If I had the opportunity to repair the harm that I did to you, I would not hesitate at all. Unfortunately, there was nothing I could do. You destroyed my daughter's life, but don't worry, I know where you live. I would go file a complaint against you and your big sister. Believe me. I can't believe she just slapped me in the face. I had never seen this lady in such condition before. It is essential that my big sister be informed of what has just happened right now. That's big sister what happened to me just now. We need to move as soon as possible, because I really don't want to go behind bars because of you. Okay, but where would we go? We are definitely going to change the country, because this lady has a lot of money. If we don't count this country, she could find us at any time. You are right. That's what she did. Mom, I can't believe she could do that to me. You know what? There is someone who would like to see you. All right, Mom. You can go pray for her. Hello, Uncle. Are you all right? No, Uncle. Don't worry. The Lord, Jesus Christ, will deliver you. I want you to pray for you. Yes, Uncle. I even make a commitment to give my life to him. To the Eternal Father, I thank you very much for the life of your daughter. Take pity on her and forgive her her debts. Please, Lord never allow these sins to be a blockage for her. Your word declares in 10 verses 19. Behold, I gave you the power to walk on snakes, on scorpions, and on all the mites of the enemy. And nothing can harm us. I rely on your word and now pray that your daughter will be delivered from all enchantment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please, Lord, restore his life for the glory of your name alone. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Or Jesus, you healed me. Despite my mistakes and transgressions, you forgave me and brought me out of the valley of the shadow of death. I will be infinitely grateful to you for the rest of my life. Hallelujah, my daughter. Let us give infinite glory to God for all his benefits in your life. It's true since my little brother prayed for you. Everything is only getting better in your life. You almost got everything you lost back. Let us give glory to God for that. Thanks a lot, Mom. You know, I tried to file charges against enemies, but they finally moved out. Starting today, we will always worship God. I am so happy because the Lord Jesus Christ has completely restored you. Same as me, Mom. Glory to Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you to always pray about your clothes and everything before distributing them to the people you would like to give. Never forget to implore God's grace and mercy on everything you have on this earth that the Lord will fill you with His grace and love. Remain blessed, dear Christians. And that's it, my brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like it, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one woman is saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you and protect you. Oh, I see my daughter. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, my daughter is your day. 
Did it go well? Yes, Mom, Mom, I wanted to tell you that I have passed all the subjects. Wow! I am very happy. I am very happy. I am proud of you, my daughter. You're smart like your mom. Thanks, Mom. Well, I'm going to close the store and then we're going to go home because I sold my items well today. Okay, Mom. Oh, she's my neighbor. But what does she have to jump like that? Like a champion. It looks like she won the lottery. This woman is always successful in everything she does. Frankly, I would like to be in his shoes. We will soon see if she continues to be successful like that again. I'll take care of your case in a few weeks. Dear little lady. It's starting to get late. Let's go. Go back home. Well, I'm almost done with my research. It is already 10 p.m. However, this girl is still on her computer. Sarah. Yes, Mom. Mom, I'm almost done. You have to go to bed, because it is already 10 p.m. Alright, Mom, I'm going to turn off the computer right away. Well, I'm done Mom, I'm going to bed. Good night to you and see you tomorrow. It is midnight, the spirits are in place. I would go say curse words on my neighbor's front so I can screw up everything that's good going on in her house. I'm sure she'd be asleep by now. I'm going to spend the whole night in front of this house so I can destroy everything that she and her daughter have built over the past few days. I don't want to see this woman happy anymore. I want her kid to sick at school. I want her store to always be spiritually closed, even if it was open during the day. She will no longer have peace in her home. Her husband will start by slaughtering him. He will encounter all the problems in the world. Let her life be bitter. All his life will be tears. She will have financial problems. Her husband will also have problems at work. I will make sure that she is hated by everyone. Well, I'm done. I'm going to go home quietly because it's getting daylight. I would go check if my neighbor still has customers, as usual. I don't understand why customers aren't coming to my shop today. I have the impression that my store is invisible. Hello neighbor. Hello, how are you? I am well thanks. What can I do for you? It was just to say hello to you. That is very kind of you. But what do you have? It seems that you are not happy at all today. Since this morning, when I opened my store, I have not yet found any customers. It seems that my store had become invisible. Courage, customers will come courage to you. Thanks. Nice day for you. Thanks a lot. Of nothing. Bye. Bye. What did you think? You haven't seen anything yet. My dearest neighbor. All right, I'm going to my house. Really? I don't know what has been going on with my daughter for almost two months. She and I don't get along at all. I'm starting to get tired of her behavior. Madam, the reason why I called you in today is to tell you about your daughter. What did she do? We found that she is not longer works as before. Oh yes. Of course, madam she is completely heckled. These are the reasons why I called you here today. Oh, I forgot. What is there again? She doesn't come to class often anymore. Oh. Could I see her before I leave, please? She is still absent today. What? However, she had left the house this morning. Don't worry, I'll take care of his case in a few days. She won't be the same person anymore. I hope so, madam. That is a bit of what I wanted to tell you. Okay. Good day to you. Thanks, good day to you too. Thanks. This little girl will see me today. Today, she did not go to class. However, she had left the house very early this morning. I'm going to tell my husband everything today. My customers have not been satisfied with my employee's services for a while now. 
despite my many comments about him. I really get the impression that he doesn't want to get better. In any case, if this continues, I think he will be fired from this company. I am really tired of my boss. He told me again to come to his office. I hope he doesn't start giving me double-headed remarks again. Yes, come in. Here I am boss. It was to tell you that customers are not at all satisfied with your service. I don't know what's going on with you lately. But I don't know what's going on either because I haven't changed the way I work with the customers you're talking about. Okay, it works. Then I would try to see a little closer. It is becoming a problem. You can leave. Okay, boss see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I am very tired. I hope my wife did not forget to cook a nice meal for me. So far, my daughter has not returned yet. I am looking forward to her. It is not possible. There is no food left in the fridge. But how is it that she was not able to do the shopping and prepare good meals for me that I asked for? Head to the store. Good evening, darling. Good evening. Your day went well. But how come you couldn't do all the things we said to each other this morning? I didn't have time to do anything today. I was a bit overwhelmed with everything the director of our girl said to me today. Oh yeah. What did he have to say? The news is not good. I'm waiting for her to come home so we can question her a little bit together. Okay, but why hadn't you said anything to me since this morning? I didn't want to see your madness. That's why I haven't told you since this morning. So, as I understand it, it's because of our daughter that I couldn't find my meal tonight. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You hurt me. But what is wrong with you? I really can't understand the fact that you didn't make my meal tonight. Frankly, you are very badly organized and I am really starting to get tired of supporting you on a daily basis. If you continue like this, you may not see me by your side very soon. Bye. Really, I don't recognize my husband anymore. After 10 years of married life, it's the first time he's hit me like that. I am really starting to get saturated with everything that is happening to us lately. If it seems that our enemies have risen to harm us, what am I going to do to get things back to normal in my home? I would go see my mom so she could give me some advice. I am going to see my mom. I need her advices and encouragement. As I told you mom, this is a bit of what I am currently going through in my home. I am overwhelmed. My daughter, I think what you need now is prayer for me. You really miss prayer. Your home is slowly collapsing over your eyes like that. Now is the time or never to start waking up early in the morning to pray and to put your home into the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Because you need to know that every day, our enemies harass us. They're waging war on us. I implore you, my daughter, once you are home, talk to your husband. For you to get up in prayer. Okay? Thank you so much, Mom. I will keep you informed afterwards. Okay, don't worry, my daughter. I too will be supportive in prayer on my side. Okay, thank you so much, Mom. That's what my mom suggested to me, darling. She clearly told me to get up in prayer and that everything that happened to us was not normal. I think she's right, sweetie. It is time for us to get up in prayer because last time I asked myself if it was myself who typed. Frankly, I couldn't believe I did that to you. You surprise me. It also seemed so strange the way you behaved with me the last time. What I still find strange is that our daughter has also completely changed whereas in the past she was not like that at all. Indeed, my wife, you are completely right. I think that everything that happens with us is purely spiritual and that it is time for us to get up in prayer. Oh yes, my husband. I am not in the habit of waking up at 4 a.m., but if it is for the happiness of my couple and my family, I am ready to make this sacrifice to the Lord. I know that there are not condemnations for those who are in Jesus Christ. I now pray that everything from the psychics and from the curse that has been pronounced on me or on my family will be null and void through the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I overthrow the enemy's fortresses and destroy our enemy's plan against our lives by power. 
Thank you, Lord, for restoring to us everything that the enemy had already destroyed in our home. And it was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Thank Jesus Christ for everything is well done in my life. Darling since you started praying again very early in the morning, really, everything is going better and better in the society in which I work. Let us give infinite glory to God for this wonderful testimony. You know, I too, for my part, already feel an improvement in my store. My items are selling better and better now at Super. I am so happy for you baby. Are you alright, my daughter? Yes. I am feeling well mom. If I came to see you after school it was to apologize to you for everything that I had done wrong to you in the past. I even asked myself if it was myself who acted like this with my family. Basically, I didn't recognize myself at all. You surprise me, my daughter. I realized that it did not necessarily come from you because it was not at all the education that I had given you. The situation is now under control by the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing like this could start in our house yet. You're welcome, my daughter, that's normal. The neighbor again. Why do they both smile like that? I really have the impression that everything is succeeding again, or I am the one who can't see well anymore. Do not worry at all. See you tonight at 4 a.m. Dear little lady, I will come again and ruin everything you have been able to rebuild so far. In any case, you are in my zone, in this neighborhood and here, no one should excel. But what does this one has? Looking at myself strangely, at least like that? I am now hiding in the blood of Jesus and nothing bad could happen to me. All right, come on, I'm going to be home soon. My husband must be waiting for me. As I told you darling, this is a bit what our daughter came to tell me when she was out of school today. Wow, I realize how much we've been tricked into. Yes, darling, but hey, I don't worry anymore. Fortunately, we were able to return to our prayer life. And yes, you are right my wife. Well, I'll go take a good shower and we'll talk to each other later. Okay, it works. It is 4 a.m. I'm sure they're all sleeping in this house right now. Well, I don't have much time to lose. Well, now is when the good things are going to start. Thank God, for waking me up, that's also it. Come on, let's go, I'm going to pray. <laughs> Neighbors what are you looking for here? In front of my house, at this hour. Don't ask me too many questions. I was coming out of a costume party and I was just out for a bit of a walk. But what are you talking about? It's not me you're going to lie to. So, if I understand correctly. You were the person who wanted us so badly in this neighborhood. You came as a witch to come and hurt us. Tell yourself that you were defeated on the Golgotha cross over 2000 years ago already. But no, it's not what you think. Neighbor. But where are you going? All I see is fire. Neighbor. I can't stay here anymore. But what really got me into coming here tonight now? Never again. I will put my feet back in your house. All I see is fire. Neighbor. Help. You haven't seen anything yet. Wasn't it you who wanted to hurt us? Help. Help. The fire is coming at me. Unbelievable, but true. I could never imagine that it was she who was at the root of all our worries in our house. Now I understand why the word told us that our enemies will be the people in our house. Thank you, Lord for revealing to me these hidden things that I did not know before. Your word says, to pray for our enemies and not to fight against flesh and blood. That's why I'm praying for her to be delivered from meanness. Lord restores his life and draw her to you. It was in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Wow! I can't believe it. So, it was the neighbor who did all this to us.
Yes, my husband, it was the enemy who used this neighbor against us to destroy us. But God unmasked them. Let us give infinite glory to God for that. Frankly, starting today, we will never relax in prayer again. I also understand why the word of God told us to pray without ceasing. Indeed, darling. I understand that too. Now, never again. I will get up in prayer. Frankly, since I tasted these celestial fires, I decided to no longer live in the same community as with my neighbors. I prefer to take my luggage and leave because I don't want these fires to cheer me up in my house. In addition, when the price of my house starts to feel very hot in my house, I think I did the right thing to leave their surroundings. You know, darling. Apparently, the neighbor moved the moving truck that we saw next to our house. The last time was the neighbors. Oh yeah, where did she move to go? I can't tell you that. Let us give glory to God for finally having freed us from the bird's net. Yes, may his name be mightily glorified until centuries upon centuries. Amen, amen, or eternal, you are my shield. You are my glory and you raise my head. With my voice, I cry out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. I go to bed and fall asleep. I am waking up because the Lord is my support. I am not afraid of the myriad peoples who surround me from all sides. Please get up forever, accept me, my God, for you are hitting all my enemies in the cheeks. You are breaking bad people's teeth. Salvation is very close to the Lord. May your blessing be on my family forever. Amen. And here are my brothers and sisters, that will be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to like, comment on it and share it with those around you so that only one soul is saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel Sentinel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you and protect you.